Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is lecture number 22 and in this example we have discussed the short circuit analysis from lecture number 18 and now we are after that we are in different lectures we have discussed how we calculate different short circuit current as line line to ground fault fault line to line fault uh, three phase fault or second second and zero second impedance and positive second impedance all these things are covered in the previous lectures and in today's lecture i will show you uh, running this example this is the example which we have discussed in the previous lectures I will run the short circuit analysis of this example on my ETAP software and then compare the results of hand calculations with my with the ETAP results okay in our lecture these are the data we calculate manually the three phase fault current is like this and this is a line to ground fault and the line to line fault and double line to ground fault these data is calculated these results are calculated manual calculation and excel calculation uh, we have also calculated the positive second and negative seconds and zero second impedance and their values are like this now we can run the same example same system in the etap and see the result what are the differences between the our hand calculations and the ETAP results. Okay. Uh, this is the data per grid data. The grid data voltage is 33 kV, X by R ratio is 14, and fault MVA is 1800.47 MVA. This is the voltage rating, MVA rating of transformer, percentage impedance, and X by R ratio. And this is the voltage rating of the load and we are rating load motor load static load and power factor and one is the base kva we have taken the base kva as a hundred now we will see whether the uh, system whether the example here, which i have made in eta is the same data or not and this is the eta and you can see this uh, base in uh, the short circuit mva is 1800.47 same and this is the transformer and we can double click on the transformer and go to impedance here the percentage impedance is uh, 10 and x by r ratio is 20 the same thing which we have taken in the, our manual calculations and the rating is 15 mv and 33 by 11 kv is the voltage rating okay then we will go to the load data and he see here we go to name plate it is ml load at power factor is 0.85 that is 85 percent and the static load you can see the motor load is 80 percent static load is 20 percent okay now we will found the short circuit analysis on clicking this you can see then you have to go here to name the short circuit analysis we have already named it our calculation and here there are two things one is duty cycle here you can, can give the three phase fault current and if you want line to ground line to line or double line to ground so then you can do 60909 when we double click on here you can see here this is the short circuit uh, current three phase short circuit current at bus one and it is at bus two at bus two is 10.43 kilo amperes okay and now uh, before sure if you want to get the report of the short circuit analysis you can go to the report manager and here you can see if you want to complete a uh, line to ground fault report complete line to line fault complete line to line to ground fault or if you want to complete all the report you can direct it uh, select the complete and if you want to in which format you want that it is you want the click to view here you want pdf you want ms word you want in the rich text format ms excel format what format you want you can get the suppose if we click on the pdf and click ok and here is the i have got the report here now i will show to the report too this is the report which we have got from the etab results now you can see here this is the all the data you will get here 
you can this is the bus data bus input data and this is the two winding process for the input data and this is the branch connection is this is a power grid input data this is lump load data and these are the calculations short circuit calculations you can get here i can go here you can see short circuit summary report bus one bus two <coughs> and you can see here this is the three phase fault and this is a line to ground fault and this is line to line fault and this is line to ground line to line and to ground fault and these are the sequence impedance summary report all these things i you can get from this short circuit analysis i can show one one here the three phase fault is 10.437 i have to well in our hand calculation and similarly these two currents are varying exactly because the, you can see in hand calculations we are taking some uh, this variation uh, here is 12.10.43 and we are getting 12 this is due to the variation of the the, the variation is of the we take in fractions in fractions we can sometimes take it 10.4 so we can take it 10.5 due to this uh, fractions this variation comes with this is the now I will want to show one more thing uh, I want to show one more thing. You can click here and go to the standard. You can see the C factor is taken here 1.1, 1.05, 1.1. Uh, we are taken with C factor 1.1. You can see if in our calculations we have taken the C factor 1.1. All the things are here mentioned. ICC standard. Then we will see adjustment is alert is everything is here. Okay. And for, uh, before performing the short circuit analysis, these uh, buses are in do not fault and you have to transfer it in fault. I will show one minute how uh, you can here. Now it is here. This is the first concern when you before performing this uh, short circuit analysis, you will this will be here and you have to transfer it like this okay all things are here in categories okay show one one time one, one minute i will go here you can check here and this is suppose it is 10.33 phase fault what is here it is uh, 12 okay line to ground fault uh, isometric loss we will check here isometrical line to ground fault it is uh, 9.8 i am taking off bus 2 9.8 uh, we will see here what is there it is 11.8 and there is a line to line fault is 20 one minute 9.8 9.038 almost same and double line to ground fault is 10 point something and here the results are and here the results are 10.37 and 10.39 almost same uh, results are matching there is a still bit variation due to fractions and due to other things because we take manual collection it is not possible to take accurately match these things and in software in software takes uh, things accurately more accurate than manual hand calculations but almost it is matching thank you